Thanks, Matthew. Uh, first off, I want to thank Buddy Lane for putting a bug in my ear like three years ago about this place. Because this is an awesome venue. <laughs> this, this thing can grow from here. And I, I never felt like even as great a listening room as the post is, it wasn't right for these songs. Uh, these songs need, need a room like this. Like the old Porter Acoustic Cafe, because that's how all this came together, was my lovely wife, Dorothy Barra, decided the first year we were together, by God, we're going to vacation in Galveston. And I went, yes, ma'am. And she found me a place to play an open mic. And I walked in, and I don't know whether you've ever been to the old Porter, but if you're on stage and you look at that wall, it's not quite that big, but the whole wall is town fan fan stuff. And you walk in, you go, holy crap. <laughs> and uh, I saw that, uh, I mean, I was like, okay. And then right next to the stage, there is a sign that says, absolutely no ASCAP or BMI songs. And I went, well, I'm betting towns get to pass. So I started learning town songs to play. And Rex Bell, Dorothy told him we were from Fort Worth, so Rex is like, Towns from Fort Worth. So he grabs me immediately and says, You know, Towns is from Fort Worth. I heard you're from Fort Worth. I said, Yeah. And he says, Towns from Fort Worth. I said, Yeah, I know. <laughs> Towns Van Zandt was born at St. Joseph's Hospital less than a mile from here. The house his family lived in was at 2130 Stanley, also less than a mile from here. So we couldn't be in a better place as far as you know, getting his roots. <laughs> uh, and so I, Rex told me a story that became the genesis of me shoehorning an extra verse into Fort Worth Blues, which we're about to share with you. But then I went back down there and sang it in front of him and I introduced it as a song by Steve Earle and Rex Bell. And Rex is kind of a curmudgeon and, you know, I he, he always hangs out in his office on open mic nights after he gets it going. And like I see his head pop out from <laughs> I ain't written no song with Steve Earl. So he comes out, he's like this. And he watches me sing a song. And he goes, goes around back in the office. I said, okay. So when I got done with my three songs, I started up to the bar and he beat me to the bar. And he already told me, he said, I've been trying to get Larry Joe Taylor, Billy Joe Shaver, Richard Dodson, David Oldie to write us, write us a verse about, a song about, you know, the story. And uh, the story is that every time they pull into Fort Worth and see the skyline coming in off the road, towns see the skyline and go, there's Fort Worth, bigger than Dallas. And so I, you know, I wrote a verse and shoved it in there, played it. And then he told me, he said, I've been trying to get, I said, yeah, well, yeah, you told me. He says, yeah, well, they didn't do it. You did it. I want you to play that at the town's wake. And I didn't make it for a couple of years just because I didn't have the day after New Year's Day off <laughs> to uh, get back home and get to work until, like, I think it was 2011, maybe 2012. We went down there. I played it. It was magic. You had 150 people dead silent, hanging on every word that every musician was playing and singing, and it went for hours. And I mean, you could, it was it was one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen. And I got back home to Fort Worth, you know, and I was like, why is anybody doing anything like that here? Oh shit. <laughs> And uh, so here we are, and I think we have finally found the perfect home for Hometown Fest. Anybody who has not signed up, either on the Facebook page or seen me personally, come see me. We will get you up here. I've designed holes in the schedule for that reason. And now, the lovely Betsy Cummings. It's in there. There it is. Thank you. 
I want to give a round of applause to our sound crew back here. Yes. Every musician appreciates and loves what you do. Thank you. So this song's been, I play in a, it's kind of weird, I play in a Celtic band called Beyond the Pale. And we're just at Irish Fest last weekend. We actually did this song. <laughs> so Bruce always gets me up here to sing it with him, so...
with the forward word blues. Yeah. All right, let's hear some music. Yeah. Uh, don't know if anybody's come in. If you haven't signed up yet, see me, and we're going to get Kevin Allison up here to kick this thing off. 